In this video, we'll continue on with the Chart.js array axis or specifically the category axis in the Cartesan for the uh, Chart.js array series. And here I just want to point out something that's really important and you might see it and you might wonder why I'm not doing it like that. All right, so if we scroll down here, we have this here and we have these min and max. And if we go here to the chart JS and we go to Cartesan and then we type in here or we select this the category axis it says here the following on min and max it can be a string or a number so minimum and maximum items to display however here is the issue with this because it's a string or a number it's able to read a string or number so what this means is that if you have a number in the string it becomes a conflict because it recognizes this number in the string. Let me show you, and this is the reason why I'm doing it like what I've done so far here, because if you will do it with a number, you will eventually discover an issue. So let's say we do exactly the same. We want to show only five data points here. If I save this, refresh, go back here. You say, oh, everything is fine. It works perfect. So what's the problem? Well, what happened right now is we're right now in a data set that is acceptable. Number two, and a max five data points. But this here becomes an issue the moment we're saying, for example, week six and beyond, because here it recognizes there's a week five in here or number five. It grabs that number in the string value. So now basically the maximum display would be week five and we wanna show week six. So then it will give you a unwanted response here as you can see here now it only show one value because it's the, it will keep on showing a value but it doesn't make sense at all and it cannot grab this one here another item here as well is that if you would have here a small capital a small w instead of a capitalized week we have a small one so it's not identical i repeat it is not identical to whatever we have here above you will get an error as well so if i refresh now it cannot read it because it doesn't find data at all and the same would be here if you would put in here any of these items here it will give you the same error of course here this works all fine because we have our function set properly including to avoid the issue that we have here with the max value so this is some extra points to consider related to the max and min Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.